the new CDS. Let me quickly show you about the new CDS. This is only applicable for S4 2020. You must be there in the S4 2020 and R or or NetViewer 7.55. So this is the minimum criteria you should have. And this new CDS, if you, whatever we have discussed, the CDS, that is going to be applicable everywhere in uh, S4 2020, the future releases also, you know, the, the CDS which we have launched, you know. So these are still very popular and uh, very well we are using in the project, right? But coming forwards, new CDS will be used, you know, along with the old CDS for that minimum system requirement is this one. What's the benefit of this new CDS? Say the benefit of the new CDS, if you talk about the benefit, or maybe you can talk like why new CDS? So the drawback of the old CDS is that if you understand the drawback of the old CDS, you will understand the benefit of new CDS. So drawback of the old CDS. So what's the drawback? The first point over here is that it generates, you know, multiple artifacts in the sense it generates uh, SC11 SQL view. You know, it is having CDS document name different. Then HANA SQL view, HANA SQL view. So three different artifacts it has to generate for the technical purpose and no, and for generating all these things, it takes time. For generating all this stuff, it takes time. So from performance point of view, you know, this is not good. And if you're going to do some mistake in annotation, it will not give you, you know, so a strict check. for annotation is not there, right? On the other hand, if you see in the new CDS, it generates only, it, it, it generates only one name, only one name. And in backend, it will be having the HANA SQL view only. It will be not having, you know, SC11 SQL view, it does not generate SC11 SQL view. Okay, it is not there. Here, it's there. SC11 SQL view, it's here, right? But that is not there. Here it's not there in the new CDS. And because SC11 SQL view is not there, it is fast because it just have to generate the HANA view, right? So it does not have to create the you know, so uh, SC11 SQL view. So because it does not have to create the SC11 SQL view, activation of CDS is going to be fast because it doesn't generate the SC11 SQL view activation of this CDS is going to be fast. Here, a strict annotation syntax check. It is going to be applied. Apart from that, you know, there are many others, but these are some important, you know, point uh, which has made uh, uh, more beneficial this uh, uh, CDS, you know. I have one document, let me quickly share with you. Just to give me a moment, I'm opening that document. Mm,
so when it's visible just let me know and this one okay a new cds abap cds view entity a new kind of cds view in abap release 7.55 some days back i prepared this one let me take you through uh, with a uh, abap release 7.55 s 42020 abap cds view entity a new type of cds view entities will replace the ddk based cds view so old one is also known as the ddk based cds view you know so in coming days like when you will make uh, be there on the s4 2020 or network 7.55 you'll be having both the option to create the cds and maybe you can prefer to create the cds view entity the new cds try creating it's simple all the concept remains same just a syntax is going to be a bit uh, very uh, I will show you where you will have to, you know, it's the same way. All the concept remains same, only the syntax to create is going to be just one word different. Otherwise, you know, and here in the old CDS, you have uh, this annotation as a mandatory annotation. The SQL view at the rate of a web catalog dot SQL view name. This annotation is a mandatory annotation, but in the new CDS, this annotation is not mandatory annotation why because the new series does not create the sc11 sql view right at the ABAP layer right so this is the point okay that's why it is not mandatory whatever the name of cds with the same name it creates the hana sql view only not the sc11 view right we cannot find uh, in your sale on that view name also no. mm, yes true. yes yes yeah you will not be able to find true and only then, and then in new uh ALU report we cannot use uh, that view also because it is not in system itself no you can use there with the name of this with the but, name of uh, this serious view name you can use in the ALB mm -hmm. report we have to use the serious view name only right yeah but uh uh in sc11 we cannot find it uh, no problem no problem in sc11 it is not there but it's there at uh, you know cds cds entity is there cds is present there right no. you can use that no, okay. okay so now uh see here the release 7.55 no dd view sql view is generated s4 2020 and now the conventional cds right so in conventional cds uh, this annotation is mandatory right uh, that additional annotation true for the bab dictionary sql view so these all annotations are not required right in the new cds this is not required this is not required okay in the new one, it is not required. See, in the conventional CDS, that means the old CDS, CDS-based, uh, uh, DDK-based view, that means SE11 view, and database view means HANA database view, HANA SQL view at the data at the uh, database layer. You know, both needs to be activated, and that's why it takes time for the old one long activation time especially with the complex hierarchical views right explicit client handling algorithm using annotation at the rate of client handling dot algorithm no strict syntax and annotation check so these are some drawback of the uh, means drawback or you can say like these are the things you need to have in the old cds but in the new cds the cds view entity is a kind of uh, cds view right a cds view entity is defined with a statement define view entity you just have to use the entity word at last. That's it. I'll show you by creating one. CDS managed DDG view or CDS DDG based view is not created upon activation, right? See here, SE11 view is not going to get created like that. Okay. It's uh, having the better maintenance, fast activation, strict syntax check, and easy extension. Extension is also going to be easy over here compared to the previous one only supported to HANA DB. But here the thing is that you keep in mind that it is supported only for the HANA DB. Very important point, like if you are, but the old one is for all the DB, Oracle, Max, everything, okay? Old CDS, the conventional CDS, the one which we have learned in our session, right? 
that is applicable for all the uh, all the database that is independent of the database but the new cds is only being supported by the hana database important point okay how it looks like see here how it looks like so define view entity right this is just the syntax you will have to apply see and manageability and annotation and all have been now gone right other thing remains same okay whatever we have learned we have uh, uh, everything is going to be so uh, only uh, other some important point like select star will not be able to use in the cds view entity okay in the cds view entity if you are thinking like you know to put the star over here instead of this element it is not possible in the old one we can use the star distinct keyword and union clause is not yet supported 